Hi, this is Alfauzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is slope intercept form. In mathematics, we often deal with the graphs. In graphs, we can see many lines. So those lines are denoted by the equation of lines. Am I right? Lines are commonly written in what's called slope intercept form. When an equation for a line is written in this form, it is easy for us to see what the slope of the line is and what the y intercept is. So hence we get the name slope intercept form. So first let us discuss what is meant by a slope intercept and what is slope intercept form. For more details about the slope you can refer a previous video. So let us start with a slope. Slope is nothing but a number that will help us to measure the steepness and direction of the line. It is nothing but the ratio of the vertical change of the graph to the horizontal change. We often refer to slope as rise over run. Am I right? Okay. For example, let us take some slope. Slope of a line B 1 over 2. So what does that mean? It means the graph goes up 1 unit for every 2 units that is goes over. The slope of a line also tells us about the direction of the line. We can tell whether the line goes up to the right, down to the right or if it is a horizontal one or a vertical one. I'll show you the types of the slope. Positive slope, negative slope, if it is this horizontal one it is a zero slope, a vertical one an undefined one. So this is all about the slope. Now let us see what is mean by an intercept. Now let us see what is an intercept. There are two axes on a coordinate plane, x and y. Am I right? The x axis and the y axis. When a line crosses one of these axes, the point where it crosses is called an intercept. If it touches the x axis, we call it as x intercept. If it touches the y axis, we call it as y intercept. In slope intercept form, the equation of the line uses only the y intercept. So this is where the line crosses the y axis. Please remember that the y axis is the vertical axis that goes up and down. The y intercept is the point where the line and y axis meet. This graph line and the y axis meet at this point. So this would be your y intercept. Now let us see what is mean by slope intercept form. There are a few different ways to write the equation of line. One of the most common ways, standard one is called slope intercept form. It is called this because it clearly defines what the slope is and y intercepts in the equation. The slope is just a number written before the x. This coefficient of x is called the slope and y intercept is the constant written at the end. This one. So the y intercept here is 0 comma b. Now let's look at a few examples of equations in slope intercept form. Here is an example y equal to 3x plus 2. When an equation of line is written in slope intercept form, the number in front of the x will represent the slope. So here in this equation, there is a coefficient 3 here. Am I right? 3 in front of the x. So this means the slope of the line is 3. The constant written at the end will represent the y-intercept. So there is a positive 2 at the end. So this means the y-intercept here is 2. So if you are asked to write the y-intercept as an ordered pair, it would be written as 0, 2. Am I right? X if x coordinate is 0, then we will be saying that that would be the y-intercept. Am I right? Remember that the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. The x coordinate of every point on the y axis is always 0. So the y intercept is always 0, comma b. So here 3 is the slope and 2 is the y intercept. Let me show you the graph of this line. The y intercept here is 2. This means it should cross the y axis 2 units up from the origin. And we also know the slope is positive 3. So whenever the slope is positive, the line will go up to the right. Am I right? So 3 is same as 3 over 1. It means it should go 3 units up and over to the right 1 unit. So please remember that slope is nothing but rise over run. We will be using this again and again. Here is the graph. Please look at the line. It touches the y axis at 2. So y intercept is 2. I have plotted it here. And the slope should be 3. 3 or 3 over 1. Both are same, no? 3 divided by 1 is 3. So 3. It has been raised to 3 units. 1, 2, 3 and run for 
one unit. So three over one. So this is how we calculate the slope. No. So the slope should be three, and the y-intercept should be two. This is how we write the equation. We graph the equation in this way. Here is the next example. Please have a glance over this equation. When an equation is in slope-intercept form, the slope is the number in front of the x. So this means the slope here is one over four. A line with a slope of one over four will go up one units and over to the right four units. Am I right? Then the y-intercept is the constant at the end. Please place, uh, please pay close attention to the sign of the y-intercept. This equation has a minus sign. Am I right? The y-intercept here is negative one. This means the line crosses the y-axis at the point zero comma negative one. So please uh, be careful with the signs given in the equation. It is pretty straightforward to graph this line. The y-intercept here is negative one, so it crosses one unit down from the origin. Am I right? And the slope is a positive one over four, so it will go up one unit and over four units to the right. Here is the general form of the equation. So far, we were discussing the standard form. This is the general form: a x plus b y equal to c. Both x and y will be on the left side, and the constant will be isolated on the right side. In case if you are getting any question like this, it is also very easy to find the slope and y-intercept. All you have to do is solve the equation for y. I mean, isolate y on the left side and shift all the other terms to the right side of the equation by doing the opposite operations. Though uh, that we generally do in algebra, and then identify the coefficient of x and the constant. So that will be your slope and the y-intercept. Let me take one example and explain you how to find the slope and intercept, which is given in the general form. Here is an example. Okay, I'm going to shift x term to the other side. Subtract two x from both these sides. Hope you're clear so far. I have just kept this positive eight here and returned this negative two x as a first term. Now divide the entire equation throughout by negative five, so that I can get rid of this negative five from the coefficients place and isolate y on the left side. So negative five is the common denominator. I'm going to write it separately for each of the term in the numerator. So negative two x over negative five plus eight over negative five. Please be a bit more careful with these signs. You have to apply the rules of signs here. Negative two x negative five. Negative over negative will give you a positive one. Positive over negative will give you a negative one. So two over five x and minus eight over five. So slope here is two over five, a positive one, positive slope, and the y-intercept is negative eight over five. In case if you are going to graph this, you can also convert the fraction into decimals. So that would be easy for you to graph. Hope you are clear with this example. So, in contrast with both the general form and the standard form of the lines equation, the slope-intercept form of the equation will provide us a unique representation of the line. Because when two lines have either a different slope or a different y-intercept, they really are two different lines. So, in other words, if two equations in the slope-intercept form have different coefficients, they do they do represent different lines. There are a number of ways to write lines because we use lines so much, and they are so important in application. So you must be uh, make yourself comfortable with all of these forms. The first one is the slope-intercept form. Graphing the slope-intercept form is very easy. All you have to do is rewrite the given equation in this form. J that is, isolating y on the left side and shifting all the other terms to the I right side. You can easily find what is the slope and the y-intercept. When you have the equation of a straight line. You can always do quick and easy graphing just by starting with the y-intercept value. First, find the y-intercept value and then plot other points by using the slope value. So, in real life, this may not work so well, but problem-wise, you can easily do this. In simple English, we can say that b is our starting point, and x is the change we intend to make, and m, the slope, is nothing but the rate of change or the percentage of change we actually see. You can also write the Two points in slope-intercept form. For example, if you have two pairs of points, you can use slope formula to find the m value, and then you can pick the formula and find the y-intercept also, or you can just graph it to find the y-intercept and plug in those values here and write it in the slope-intercept form. That is also very simple. According to graphing, it is super easy to graph this form, slope-intercept form, instead general form. 
because the pieces will be very clear the slope and the y intercept y is a dependent variable here and x is the independent variable and m is the constant okay b is an adjustment that moves the function away from the origin or not and in more general straight line equation x and y coordinates these are very helpful so we must know that any line can be written in slope intercept form you can frame your own example just by changing the values of m and b we can define any straight line so that's how powerful and versatile the slope intercept form is hope you're clear with slope intercept form now hope you got an idea on that in case if you get any query regarding this kindly let me know